Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to see such a keen interest in understanding the complexities of the human mind, especially as it relates to dementia. As many of you know, my research focuses on the neurological underpinnings of cognitive disorders. And today, we're going to delve into a topic that's both fascinating and crucial, the real causes of dementia. We'll explore this from a scientific perspective, ensuring that our discussion is grounded in the latest research and findings. Number five, cause, poor diet and nutrition. Today, I want to talk about something that's not just close to our hearts, but also to our minds. It's about our diet and its profound impact on our cognitive health, particularly in the context of dementia. When we think of what fuels innovation, creativity and progress, we often overlook the most fundamental aspect, our nutrition. We live in a world where the choices we make at our dining tables can significantly influence our brain health. The scientific evidence is clear. Diets high in processed foods, sugars, and unhealthy fats are more than just a risk factor for obesity and heart disease. They're also a contributing factor to cognitive decline and dementia. Let's delve into the science. Our brain, the command center of our body, is an energy-intensive organ. It uses about 20% of our body's total energy. This energy largely comes from what we eat. When our diet is unbalanced, the brain is the first to feel the impact. High intake of processed and fast foods has been linked to an increased risk of dementia. A study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found that a diet high in processed meats, fried foods, and sugary drinks is associated with lower cognitive function. These foods cause inflammation and oxidative stress, which are detrimental to brain cells. In contrast, diets rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats like the Mediterranean diet have a protective effect on the brain. This diet is high in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, which fight the very processes that contribute to cognitive decline. A landmark study published in the Neurology Journal showed that people who adhered to a Mediterranean diet had a 33% lower risk of developing Alzheimer's disease compared to those who didn't. The reason is simple yet profound. Nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids found in fish, antioxidants found in fruits and vegetables, and fiber abundant in whole grains all support brain health. Omega-3 fatty acids, for instance, are essential components of brain cell membranes and are crucial for cell-to-cell -cell communication in the brain. Furthermore, vitamins like B12, B6, and folate play a vital role in brain function. Deficiencies in these vitamins have been linked to increased levels of homocysteine, an amino acid associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that adequate intake of these vitamins can mitigate this risk. Let's not forget about sugar. Excessive sugar intake can lead to high levels of glucose in the brain, which can damage brain cells and affect cognitive function. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine indicated that even people with mildly elevated glucose levels, not necessarily diabetic, had a higher risk of developing dementia. The impact of diet on dementia is a clear reminder that what we consume goes beyond physical health. It is intrinsically linked to our cognitive well-being. The food choices we make today shape our cognitive health tomorrow. The big question now is, how do we turn this knowledge into action? The answer lies in making mindful, informed food choices. It's about integrating foods that nourish the brain into our daily diet. It's about understanding that every bite we take can be a step towards preserving our cognitive health. In conclusion, the relationship between diet and dementia is undeniable. The evidence points to a simple truth. A balanced, nutritious diet is not just a cornerstone of physical health. It's a building block of brain health. As we navigate through our busy lives, let's remember that the greatest innovation we can bring to our lives is the way we nourish our brains. Number four cause, physical inactivity. Continuing our journey into understanding the causes of dementia, let's shift our focus to the fourth critical factor, physical inactivity. This is a topic that resonates deeply with me, not just as a tech visionary, but as someone who understands the value of integrating body and mind for optimum performance. In the realm of cognitive health, physical activity is not just beneficial, it's essential. There's a wealth of scientific evidence underscoring the significant impact of physical activity on brain health. Let's dive into this evidence and understand why moving our bodies is so crucial for keeping our minds sharp. Firstly, exercise increases blood flow to the brain. This is vital because increased blood flow means more oxygen and nutrients, which the brain needs to function optimally. 
A study published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease found that regular physical activity improved blood flow to brain regions critical for memory and learning, thereby reducing the risk of dementia. But the benefits of exercise extend beyond just improved blood flow. Physical activity also promotes the growth of new brain cells, a process known as neurogenesis. A groundbreaking study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences showed that regular aerobic exercise increased the volume of the hippocampus, the area of the brain involved in memory formation. This is particularly significant because the hippocampus is one of the first regions to suffer damage in Alzheimer's disease. Moreover, exercise helps in the release of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, a protein that supports the growth, maintenance, and survival of neurons. Higher levels of BDNF are associated with improved cognitive functioning. A study in the Journal of Aging Research found that older adults who engaged in regular physical activity had higher levels of BDNF, which was linked to better memory and overall cognitive function. Let's also talk about the role of exercise in reducing inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which are risk factors for cognitive decline. Regular physical activity has been shown to reduce the levels of inflammatory markers and oxidative damage in the brain. A study in Brain, Behavior, and Immunity demonstrated that regular moderate exercise reduced inflammation and oxidative stress, which in turn could lower the risk of developing dementia. Another critical aspect is the connection between physical activity and sleep. Exercise improves sleep quality, and good sleep is essential for cognitive health. Poor sleep has been linked to an increased risk of cognitive decline and dementia. A study in the Journal of Sleep Research showed that regular physical exercise improved sleep quality, which is crucial for brain health, as sleep is the time when the brain clears out toxins and consolidates memories. So what does all this mean for us? It means that physical activity is not just a tool for physical fitness. It's a key to unlocking a healthier, more resilient brain. It's about making exercise a regular part of our lives, whether it's a brisk walk, a bike ride, or a yoga session. It's about understanding that our brains thrive on movement. In conclusion, the link between physical inactivity and dementia is clear. Regular physical activity is a powerful weapon in our arsenal against cognitive decline. It's a message of hope that by taking simple steps to incorporate more movement into our daily lives, we can significantly impact our brain health. As we strive for innovation and progress, Let's not forget that one of the most revolutionary things we can do is to move our bodies for the sake of our minds. Number three, cause chronic stress and poor mental health. Let's now turn our attention to the third critical factor in the context of dementia, chronic stress and poor mental health. This is a topic that often gets overshadowed in our high-paced, achievement-oriented society, but it's a vital piece of the puzzle in understanding cognitive decline. The connection between chronic stress, mental health, and dementia is one that the scientific community has been exploring with increasing depth and concern. When we talk about stress, we're not referring to the everyday pressures of life, which are normal and sometimes even beneficial. Instead, we're talking about chronic, unrelenting stress that wears down our brain's resilience and capacity. Let's examine the evidence. Chronic stress leads to prolonged exposure to cortisol, a stress hormone. While cortisol is necessary for survival, Prolonged exposure to high levels of it can be damaging to the brain. A study published in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery, and Psychiatry showed that high cortisol levels were associated with an increased risk of cognitive impairment and dementia. Stress affects the brain in several ways. It can cause brain inflammation, disrupt synaptic regulation, which is vital for brain cell communication, and even lead to atrophy in certain brain areas, particularly those involved in memory, such as the hippocampus. A study in molecular psychiatry revealed that chronic stress resulted in structural changes in the brain, changes that are closely linked with Alzheimer's disease. But it's not just stress. Mental health conditions like depression and anxiety, if left unmanaged, can significantly impact brain health. Depression, particularly in midlife, has been identified as a risk factor for dementia. A meta-analysis in the British Journal of Psychiatry concluded that individuals with midlife depression were at a significantly higher risk of developing dementia later in life. Anxiety, too, plays a role. Chronic anxiety can lead to an overactivation of the brain's stress response, which, over time, can impair cognitive function. A study in the American Journal of Geriatric Psychiatry found that people with chronic anxiety had a higher risk of cognitive decline. So why does this happen? 
One reason is that both depression and anxiety can lead to reduced engagement in healthy behaviors like physical activity, social interaction, and proper nutrition, all of which are crucial for brain health. They also lead to poor sleep, which, as we discussed earlier, is essential for cognitive functioning. But there's more to it than just behavior. Depression and anxiety can also lead to biochemical changes in the brain that affect its ability to function and repair itself. These changes can make the brain more vulnerable to other risk factors for dementia, like inflammation and vascular issues. What does this mean for us? It means that taking care of our mental health is not a luxury. It's a necessity for our cognitive well-being. It's about recognizing the signs of chronic stress, depression, and anxiety and addressing them proactively. It's about understanding that mental health is as crucial as physical health in the fight against dementia. In conclusion, the evidence is clear. Chronic stress and poor mental health are significant risk factors for dementia. Addressing these issues is not just about improving our quality of life. It's about protecting our cognitive health. As we continue to innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible, let's not forget to prioritize our mental well-being. After all, a healthy mind is the foundation of every great endeavor. Number two cause, sleep disturbances and sleep disorders. Moving forward, let's delve into the second major factor contributing to dementia, sleep disturbances and sleep disorders. In a world where sleeping less and doing more is often glorified, it's crucial to understand the profound impact that sleep has on our cognitive health. Sleep is not just a period of rest, it's an active state where critical processes for brain health occur. During sleep, our brain engages in various activities, from consolidating memories to clearing out toxins, making it a key player in cognitive health and function. Let's look at the scientific evidence linking sleep and dementia. One of the most critical functions of sleep is the removal of beta amyloid, a protein that, when accumulated, is a hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. A study published in the Journal of Neuroscience showed that during sleep, the brain's waste clearance system, known as the glymphatic system, becomes more active and clears beta amyloid more effectively. However, when sleep is disrupted or inadequate, this system doesn't work as efficiently. This leads to an accumulation of beta amyloid and other toxins, which over time can contribute to the development of dementia. A study in Science Translational Medicine found that even one night of sleep deprivation led to an increase in beta amyloid levels in the brain. Sleep disorders like insomnia and sleep apnea also play a significant role. Chronic insomnia can lead to changes in the brain that are similar to those seen in neurodegenerative diseases. A study in Sleep Medicine Reviews found a strong association between insomnia and an increased risk of developing dementia. Sleep apnea, characterized by repeated interruptions in breathing during sleep, has a profound impact on brain health. It leads to intermittent oxygen deprivation, which can cause damage to brain cells. Research in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine found that individuals with sleep apnea had a higher risk of developing cognitive impairment and dementia. Moreover, poor sleep affects the brain in other ways, too. It impairs cognitive functions like attention, problem-solving, and memory. It also impacts mood, increasing the risk of depression and anxiety, which, as we discussed earlier, are risk factors for dementia. So what does this mean for us? It means that prioritizing sleep is not just about feeling rested. It's about taking care of our brain. It's about recognizing sleep disturbances and seeking appropriate treatment for sleep disorders. It's about creating a sleep-conducive environment and establishing regular sleep patterns. In conclusion, the link between sleep disturbances, sleep disorders, and dementia is undeniable. Quality sleep is a pillar of brain health, and ensuring that we get enough of it is crucial in our fight against cognitive decline. As we continue to innovate and push the boundaries in technology and other fields, let's not forget the fundamental role that sleep plays in our cognitive well-being. Number one, genetic and biological factors. As we reach the pinnacle of our discussion on the causes of dementia, it's time to address the most significant factor, genetic and biological factors. This is a realm where nature meets nurture, where the code written in our DNA interacts with our environment and lifestyle choices to shape our cognitive destiny. The role of genetics in dementia is complex and multifaceted. Certain genetic mutations are known to significantly increase the risk of developing forms of dementia, such as Alzheimer's disease. The most well-known of these is the APOE gene, specifically the APOE4 allele. Research published in the Journal of the American Medical Association showed that individuals carrying this allele have a higher risk of developing Alzheimer's. But genetics isn't just about risk. 
It's also about how our bodies respond to other risk factors, such as cardiovascular health, inflammation, and even our lifestyle choices. This is where the concept of epigenetics comes in. Changes in gene expression caused by external factors without altering the DNA sequence itself. Studies have shown that factors like diet, exercise, and even exposure to stress can lead to epigenetic changes that may either increase or decrease the risk of dementia. Biological factors extend beyond genetics. Age is the most significant risk factor for dementia. As we age, changes occur in the brain that increase the likelihood of developing cognitive impairments. These changes include neuron loss, inflammation, and the accumulation of proteins like beta amyloid and tau, which are characteristic of Alzheimer's disease. Other biological factors include conditions like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and hypertension, which are closely linked to an increased risk of dementia. A study in the Lancet Neurology highlighted that managing these conditions could help reduce the risk of dementia. It's important to note, however, that genetics and biology are not destiny. While we cannot change our genetic makeup, we can influence how these genes are expressed and how our biological risk factors are managed. This is where lifestyle choices come into play. A healthy diet, regular exercise, mental stimulation, and social engagement can all have a protective effect on the brain, even for those who are genetically predisposed to dementia. In conclusion, while genetic and biological factors play a significant role in the development of dementia, they are part of a larger, more complex picture. Understanding these factors helps us not only in identifying those at risk, but also in developing strategies for prevention and management. It reminds us that while we cannot change our genetic makeup, we can still influence our brain health through our lifestyle choices. As we continue to explore the frontiers of science and technology, let's remember the power we hold in shaping our cognitive future. Conclusion In conclusion, dementia is a complex condition influenced by a variety of factors. As we've discussed today, these range from diet and physical activity to stress, sleep, and genetics. Understanding these causes is crucial for developing prevention strategies and improving the quality of life for those affected. Remember, brain health is a lifelong journey, and it's never too early or too late to make changes that can positively impact our cognitive well-being. Thank you all for your attention today, and let's continue to explore and understand the intricate workings of our remarkable brains.